Hey y'all, come on into the kitchen because today we're dishing with the Deans. Starting off, we're topping some fabulous ribeye steaks with our homemade hollandaise sauce and a side of fried oysters. Is everybody swallowing hard out there or what? Then an old favorite that can't go wrong, especially with the Dean's Touch, garlic mashed potatoes, y'all. Finally, how about this for decadence, y'all? Not one. You take two pounds of cream cheese, y'all. That's going into our cousin Johnny's cheesecake, and we've got a surprise guest to help us make our caramel apple topping that you don't want to miss, y'all. Look down in that <laughs> camera and say, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Here's the deal, y'all. There is a restaurant out at Tybee Island. Michael and I went out there one night and I had this fabulous ribeye steak and I went to the guys and I said, guys, y'all are so good. Would you please share that recipe with me so I can share it with the world? So today we're recreating those ribeye steaks with fried oysters on top and then topped with a hollandaise sauce that's filled with tasso ham and garlic mashed potatoes. I mean, is everybody swallowing hard out there or what? A meaty hollandaise on top <laughs> of a ribeye steak. Listen, those guys have got it going on. And I'm gonna start with a half a stick of butter, y'all. And I've got my water getting hot in my double boiler. Jamie is separating four eggs. And I'll save those egg whites and I'll make you a pie. How about that to take home? Deal. Okay, son, I'm gonna cut on your grill, okay? Okay, I'm gonna chop up this tasso for your sauce, okay? Okay. How about this, y'all? You know, I got a late start. I was 42. I was Jamie's age. It's not necessary when that you we... tell everybody how old I am. <laughs> when we started the bag, lady, y'all, I was 42 years old, and I tell y'all right now, I felt like an old woman. I hear you. At 42. I feel like an old woman, too. <laughs> he is so funny. <laughs> now, I, this is crazy. You're going to put this meat in the hollandaise sauce. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so to make my hollandaise sauce, I'm going to add my half a cup of heavy cream, a pinch of sugar, a pinch of salt. If you just kind of whisk up those eggs for okay. me, son. And now I'm gonna add the juice of one lemon. This is a nice fat lemon too. Okay, I'm gonna salt and pepper those steaks. These are bone-in. I, I go to the butcher shop and ask for two inch bone-in ribeye steaks. Now I've added my yolks. All right, this is starting to thicken up a little, son. Now, what all are you putting on our steaks? Just uh, salt and pepper, straight good. salt that's and pepper. The way that's I the like only it. seasoning you need for a good steak. Yeah, and then when you take them up, you put a little butter on them. Yep. <laughs> These are done. I'm going to put them on the grill. Oh, son, I need to turn this down a little bit. Okay, Mom, now that I got these cooking. Okay. We're gonna go on to our mashed potatoes. Okay. This is a little bit different. This is a garlic mashed potatoes. I've got about two pounds of some Yukon potatoes in here. I've got them cubed up and they're cooked down soft. And to this, I'm gonna put a cup of milk in the saucepan here. Okay, you want me to cut on that ice, son? Yes, ma'am. We're just gonna there simmer you this. Go. Now, I'm not gonna cook this milk. I'm just gonna let it simmer because mm. I want the flavors of the garlic to infuse in this milk. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon and a half of fresh garlic that I have here. Okay, so just two or three cloves, y'all. Love garlic, love potatoes. And Jamie's adding that right into the milk, y'all. The hollandaise is starting to get a little thick on me. This is perfectly delicious. I'm gonna drain these off. Okay, Sonny, you can pour those right back into the pot once they've drained. Okay, I'm fixing to add a little bit of the milk, and I'm gonna beat these potatoes. I'm just gonna add a little, because I can't take away. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna cut off your eyes, son. How about your salt? Do you have salt in it yet? And I'm gonna need some butter, too, and a little okay. bit of pepper, too, Mom. Okay. Love me some mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't too much, was it? No. 
just a touch more of my milk with garlic. Oh, this is gonna be fabulous. Uh, uh, oh, oh, and then I think our steaks are ready to flip, son. Ooh. Perfect timing. Yes, flip it, daddy. All right, so I'm just gonna take this off and bring it down here and throw that tasso in it. Let it absorb all those wonderful flavors. Look at that, y'all. That looks awesome. Tablespoon of vinegar. The lemon juice has made it a little tart. The vinegar will help bring it that last little snap. Mm. And we're good to awesome. go. Okie doke. And son, it's not going to take but like a second. Like I think this steak is ready. Give us Ooh. one second to put our meal together and we'll meet you back here in the kitchen because we got it going on. Coming up, we're about to fry up some tasty oysters, y'all. Listen to them go, y'all. Then it's going to be hard to stop eating those ribeye steaks and garlic mashed potatoes. Y'all don't think I'm eating this for TV. You're dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and later, you just have to stick around to see how amazing this cheesecake is. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Okay, y'all, we're getting ready to finish up this fabulous meal. And Jamie's got a pound of oysters in three-fourths of a cup of buttermilk. So we're getting ready to flour our oysters and we're gonna put them down into our hot grease. We've got our fryer set at 350 degrees. I'm gonna put a little paprika, a little salt, a little pepper. This is just good old Southern comfort food, mm -hmm. isn't it, son? Nothing light about this. All right, so we got our seasonings mixed up real good. Now I'm just gonna take our oysters and we're just gonna kinda shake off our oysters, yep. son. Put them over in the flour. You get our ribeyes plated. The hollandaise take but a sauce second, is right? over there. Yeah, I'm gonna get the rest of these oysters because the fried oyster part is like my favorite. And this is just an all-purpose flour I'm using, and the paprika will help brown them. Mm -hmm. So here we go into the basket. Shake that flour off. Big steaks, mama. They are big steaks for a big girl with a Big appetite. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're just looking at about three minutes on those oysters, y'all. If you don't have a deep fryer at home, y'all, it's easy enough to just fry these up in a pan in a little oil. Oysters are so easy. We're talking about three minutes. Look, look, I got as much coating on my fingers as I do on the oysters. Listen to them go, y'all. I want that steak. That one's smaller, right? No, ma'am. Well, I still want that steak. <laughs> and I'm frying these up like extra crispy. All right. You ready with the oysters? Let's do it. Ah, I didn't want that on top. Well, I really want this steak, so I'm hoping that on <laughs> I didn't I'm want that on top. All right, I'm waiting on you. Okay. I'm starving. Look at that, y'all. That's like perfect. Mmm! Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. This mm. is fabulous, son. All right, this time I'm going in for an oyster. You got an oyster yet? I'm gonna get one. <laughs> You like it? Mm, mm, mm. You are gonna drive your wife crazy tonight with that oyster. I don't need oysters, mama. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the potatoes. Oh, the potatoes are incredible. Mm. The potatoes are perfect. The garlic milk adds mm. so much flavor to them. I'm ready to get started on the cheesecake. Mm-hmm. 
you go ahead, I'll be there in a second. Oh, come on. Bring it with you. You know, if y'all don't think I'm eating this for TV, you're dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, this is not just any cheesecake, y'all. We're no, doing our cousin Johnny's caramel apple cheesecake. And you can find the recipe for the crust at foodnetwork.com. We're gonna do the filling right here. So guess what, y'all? It's got a little cream cheese in it. Not one. Not two. Not three. <laughs> you take two pounds of cream cheese, y'all. Because sometimes a pound and a half just ain't enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put a cup and a half of granulated sugar. Mm. I've got two tablespoons of cornstarch, Mom. Uh -huh. Coming in here. We use cornstarch in place of flour. And I'm gonna cream this up. There you go. You wanna make sure you keep those sides clean so you don't have any clumpy. Yeah, I want this to be totally free of clumps. Yeah. So let's put in our wet stuff. This is one pound of sour cream. And y'all will notice we've got our pan over here, a springform pan. We have wrapped this in tin foil to seal up that pan real, real good. And I've got my ball in water that I'm adding to my pan. That water in the pan will keep the cheesecake from cracking open. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, Half a cup cheese. of orange juice. We're gonna add one egg at a time here, y'all. We're gonna blend them in and be, take a lot of care to clean your edges because it's okay. important that there's no clumps in this. We want it really super smooth. It should pour out as like almost liquid. Now you can pour that right into the springform pan. Perfect, son. Mmm. Oh, incredible. Look at all that that's still in there, son. Well, I tell you what. I think this is going to be topped with some apples. And caramel. And caramel. So into the oven it goes, y'all. All right, son, let me get the door for you. Three hundred and fifty degrees, y'all, for an hour forty-five minutes. Coming up, our cheesecake is coming out of the oven. Ta-da! <laughs> and then we're starting on a sweet caramel apple topping. Butter, sugar, and apple. She can't get any more American than that, y'all. And later, we got the sweetest special helper, y'all. This is gonna help finish off our fabulous dessert. Ah! Look who's here! I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I wanna hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Now, Jamie and I are gonna make the caramel apple topping for our cheesecake. Now, we're gonna take our let's apples. Get our, let's get our butter started Okay, first. well, you do that, and I'll start peeling, because this takes a few minutes. Okay, this is a stick of butter, y'all. Uh-huh. And, son, if you would add the sugar, please, to our butter. One cup? Yeah, one cup. And y'all, I love golden delicious apples for this particular recipe, but you can use any type of apple you want. How long you reckon we're gonna have to cut these apples down? Ah, uh, two or three minutes, not long. All right, so if you'll tend to that, Jamie, okay. I'm gonna come down and chop our pecans. Yes. Butter Doesn't and sugar and these apples, gracious. Butter, sugar, and apples. She can't get any more American than that, y'all. Mm. Can you? Two pounds of green cheese. <laughs> but you don't want to be too quick to pull these off because this is the only cooking that's going in these yeah. apples, so you want them soft. So there don't rush go. this part. Okie doke, son. That's probably a little more than a half a cup. All right, and while you're continuing to work on that, I'm going to take our cheesecake out of our pan. Now I'm going to just take our tin foil off. 
Now we're just gonna loosen that pan and ta-da! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, y'all? And you can see there's not the first crack in that cheesecake. All right, son, you know what this is screaming for? This is cooking down right Apples. good. Apples! I think I'm just about ready. I'm gonna pull these off so we can make our sauce. These Looks so delicious, beautiful. son. It smells so good. What's Brooke's favorite dessert? You know, she really likes a cobbler too. She. Well, I know she makes a lot, which yeah. tickles me to death because she uses my no fail cobbler recipe. Yeah, a the lot. same one that we do at the restaurant. It's so easy, it doesn't take any time. These are pretty soft. But we do a lot of parfaits and stuff at the house too. Okay. Then, Jamie, we'll just need to take a slotted spoon, son, and okay. pull the apples out of the sauce, and I'll help you. It's so thick, it won't let me get in there. And we're gonna let it cook until it's like a caramel. And it's gonna take probably a good six minutes for it to get that stage. I love the smell of cooking apples. Oh my hey, goodness. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look who's hey. here. What are you doing? Hey, my precious. Give Kitty a kiss. Say again. Oh, I love that boy. That's the dessert. sweetest sugar in the world. You want some cheesecake, baby? See, you love apples. Look, now daddy, mm. daddy cooked down this to make a caramel jack. You want to help Guinea? You be he the cream pourer. Okay, be very careful. Jack loves to cook. Pour it very slow. Just don't let him burn his little hands. Good job, buddy. Good job. I love to pour. I know you, you do, love baby. to pour, you don't love to you? Pour. What am I doing, my precious love button? I'm melting that caramel in with our heavy cream. I love those fat cheese. You love what? He loves the fat cheese. He likes string cheese. You want to <laughs> add some nuts to our apples? Yes. Okay, come over here. Jack is the best pourer. There you go. Can I taste one? Oh, yes. You, oh, you love pecans, don't you, Bob? I want you to taste. They grow on our trees. Yeah, they grow on our trees. They're not yeah. quite ready yet. They're still in their green jackets, aren't they? But we're waiting. Ever since you were a little baby, we've gone out and got pecans, haven't we, pal? Say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. That's right. We love them. <laughs> okay, we're going to stir these up in here. You want one? Sure. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Caramel apples. Yes, ma'am. Now, we want to let this cool, y'all, to about room temperature. Think Jack, it's room temperature? Can you look right there and say, we'll be right back? We'll be, be right back. We'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> Stick around. When you come back, we'll finish our dessert. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Up next, we're having the best time topping off this cheesecake. You don't want to miss how fun this dessert is, y'all. <laughs> I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. Y'all, welcome back. Jamie and I just had a little surprise visitor popping in on us. Jack walked in our kitchen. Look down in that camera and say, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> You got your mouth full of pecans, don't you, bud? So I good. love him so much, y'all. He's got a lot of his daddy in him. He showed up right at dessert time. <laughs> All right, Jack, you want to put this on top of the cheesecake for Guinea? Okay, sure. Okay. Grab a spoon. Put it right on top. Perfect. Here, let Guinea bring this down here. Would that make it easier? There you go. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. He loves them. Look at him, Daddy. You're going to make our cousin Johnny so proud, Jack. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Guinea's got the runaway cheesecake. <laughs> I about did it. I should have... 
I should have put a little glue on the bottom of that. You want to taste Look, the Look, Jack, you want to put the mint on it? Put the mint on it. Isn't that beautiful? All right, Jack, let's put one more right over here. There you go. You yeah, ready yeah. to eat some now? I got a glass of warm water to help us cut that cheesecake nice and clean. So, Daddy, if you'll bring him around here. You come sit over here with Dad. Guinea will get his piece of cheesecake cut. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> I want to try the icing. Okay. You want the icing? Oh, my goodness. Mmm. You ready? What do you think? Good? Is that good? Jack, why don't you look over there and say, Cousin Johnny, thank you so much for this delicious recipe. Why don't you say, thanks, cuz? Thanks, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed. You're embarrassed. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, you am. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I know that old trick. Here, Jack, would you like some? <laughs>Y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.